All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I got an interesting video, an interesting thought for you guys today regarding the fig trees. As you guys know, as I basically have been growing these fig trees for as long as I have, I've always made it my mission to try to learn as much as I can about them. And so every year you observe different things, you make kind of, diff you have different theories, things change, your thoughts change, and then you kind of just, from there, run with something new and see what happens. You even try to, at least for me, I try to make even some mistakes on purpose. I try to do things in a very different way that's against the conventional wisdom. And one of the conventional pieces of wisdom that fig growers will tell you all the time is that your figs, the longer they're planted in the ground, and really the longer they're in containers, the more mature they are, typically the better they're gonna taste. And I've always tried to challenge that thought because I've believed for years actually that the water that the figs uptake, uh, especially a younger fig tree, will tend to uptake more water. Um, and that excess of water leads to watered down figs and your figs just typically don't taste as good. So that's, I think, part of the reason why uh, your figs basically get better and better every year is the more mature the root system is, the less water typically it needs to uptake and the less crazy it can get, especially in a container there's a limited root system or limited uh, amount of soil and nutrients, but you could very easily overwater a young fig tree in its container, leading to an excess soil moisture, which leads to that watered down figs. Now, the one thing that I'm noticing here, and I've noted actually for a couple years, is that the figs that produce fruit on their suckers, and a sucker is determined, at least for me, I determine it by shoots that come up from the base. So they come up from the soil. In this particular case, this is a fig called LSU Huye. And you can see all these shoots here. Some of them I've actually already started to air layer. And so this is an easy way to get copies of figs, to also bend them down to give the top of the tree more light because these suckers, man, they grow super quick. They have the wrong hormonal balance that, well, wrong in a certain sense, if you want them to fruit, it's definitely wrong. But if you want them to grow, then it's obviously great. So my argument is that the fruits that form on these suckers, because they grow so quickly, they have a lot of carbohydrates and they have a lot of photosynthesis. Um, when you have more photosynthesis and carbohydrates on a particular branch, I've noted that the fruits on those branches actually will become larger. And this is very consistent to what uh, a lot of people do, a lot of commercial growers do, where they have Japanese espaliers. They, they prune them rather, um, rather hard. They have a, you know, typically an accordion system uh, with a couple arms, and they'll prune them back really hard every year. And then they have these really long shoots. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen photos of them in that system. Because of that heavy pruning, the figs grow rather, rather quickly. They also have really large leaves. Um, now, luckily, they're able to have a variety that's going to fruit really well in that system. They have a lot of light. Uh, so a lot of times pruning figs doesn't always result in good production, but they found a good variety for that. And also, they've been able to um, have the light to produce the figs. So that's another piece of it. And then by doing this, they have a larger fruit size. And I think they know that. I think they're aware of this. Um, and so my theory... Uh, which I, you know, I think would be hard to argue with at this point, is that basically the larger the fig, the lower the quality is going to be on average. And a lot of this has come down, comes down to just basically having a smaller fruit means there's less water. So if you had about 50% humidity or lower, it's easier for the water to evaporate out of the fruit, leading to a more concentrated fig. If you have a larger fruit, you typically have more water in it and it takes more time for that water to evaporate out. So I always here prefer in a humid place and for any one of you guys in a humid place, the smaller the fig is, typically the better it's gonna taste on average. So for me, I actually would rather not, you know, have my fig trees fruit from the suckers here. I would rather have them fruit higher up on wood from last year wood that was from apical and lateral buds. The trees grow slower, they have closer node spacing, the balance of hormones is, is better, and they produce basically less photosynthesis that way, so they have a smaller fruit size. 
Uh, not everyone wants that, but for the average home rower that wants to have amazing tasting figs and wants that consistently, I would rather have smaller fruits. So I'd rather choose the one way of doing it over the other. So here's how we're gonna do this. Here's how we can really, I guess, put this to bed because LSU Huye, and I have another variety over there called LSU Champagne, both of which I would argue are very good varieties for low light conditions. They can fruit very easily from total dieback. Um, they're really good in these high dense situations here that I've put them in. Um, and they're always just willing to fruit, even from the suckers. They do a great job at that. But both of them now have a top, a structure to them, uh, in addition to the suckers coming up from the base, that will both fruit. And because of that, we're gonna, able, we're gonna be able to compare the fruits from the top of the tree to the fruits then from the bottom of the tree. And so that's gonna be really easy at that point to then compare the fruit quality. And then that way, we can make a determination as, all right, well, is my theory correct or not? And so here's some LSU Huye suckers. You can see the double dots in there. And uh, it's just really good at this fruiting habit here, even down there at the suckers. And you can see here at the top, the fruits are obviously ahead of the game. That's just typically what happens. Um, the tops of the trees produce, in my opinion, not only earlier fruits, more fruits and better quality and better tasting fruits. And they also produce fruits at an easier rate. So we're only really testing and what we will test in the future is only one of those, uh, which is are they of a better quality? And so if that's the case, um, this may at least partly explain that age old wisdom that we just mentioned. Well, do figs actually taste better the longer they're in the ground? And what is the reasoning behind that? Because I don't think anyone would disagree with that statement, but why? You know, I think people have this wisdom and that's great, but uh, do you understand why? Because the more we understand why, the better we understand these figs. And the more we understand these figs, the better fig growers we can be. So that's it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. See you for the next one. Take care.